Hey, it's Oteen from Oteen TV, and I had a request to do um, jeans in this Zenny portable washer and spinner. So, here we go. I'm going to do, here's one pair of jeans. I have three pair that I'm going to try, so we'll see. There's one pair. The water's already in there. It's filled up to the highest line. There's markings on the inside of the machine. Let me know um, how high to fill it. So that's two pair in there. And here's the third pair. So I'm gonna get that spinning. I'm gonna turn my timer to 12 minutes, I guess. Get that started going. And I'm gonna put my detergent in. Hold on just a second. Let me get my detergent ready. Okay, I have one tablespoon of laundry detergent. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I I used to use a thimble. I mean, not a thimble, a medicine cup. But I have since lost the medicine cup, so just using one tablespoon now of laundry detergent. You don't need very much in these little machines because they're little machines. You see the jeans are moving around, but they're getting kind of stuck. So I'll just watch it for a minute and see how it does. This is my first time trying three pair of jeans. So we'll just watch and see how it does for a minute. Some people may say it is too many in there. It's not washing, not, you know, getting agitated enough. Some people may say, oh, it, it, I think it's doing okay. So we'll just watch it and see how it does see there it's getting stuck stuck but it's it's still going let's see here in my opinion I think this might Three pair of jeans may be okay if you put it on, if you put your on, set your timer high enough so they will have time to ro rotate enough. Because see, sometimes they rotate a lot and sometimes they don't. So I think if you set your timer high enough, it'll give them time to, even though they didn't rotate on that spin, rotate on the next spin. See what I'm saying? So I think three pair of jeans, in my opinion, would be okay. Because I would set my timer all the way up to 15 minutes so it could, you know, get a real good, real good thorough rotation, even though it's not rotating every spin. Because even though, even though the top ones are not rotating, the bottom may be. Don't know. But I know on another one of my videos, somebody commented that, um, no, that's too many in there. I think it was, I don't know, I think I was doing towels or something. That's too many in there. They're not even agitating like they're supposed to. They may not be agitating now. But on the next rotation, let's see what it does. agitating a little but let's see what the next one does another thing with this machine too it kind of um, since the space is so limited it you know keeps things kind of compact so there's not going to be in a lot of room for a lot of things to move unless you have little bitty things in here so I don't know I can't tell you what to do, so if you use your own judgment, if you think this is too many in here and it's not rotating and agitating enough for you, then don't put three pair of jeans, only put two. But if you think, oh, it's okay because it's agitating on some, maybe not be, may not be all, but it's agitating enough on some of the rotations, then do three pair of jeans. So that's just, I just wanted to show you that in. You know, like I said, you can form your own opinion on 
whether you think this is too many or not I'm just showing you what it looks like to do three pair of jeans in here so whoops tell me what you think of this video if you like it give me a comment if you don't like it give me a comment if you think that's too many comment about that if you think oh well you know what that's fine because it's still rotating enough to get my jeans clean then give me a comment about that okay like comment subscribe and watch out for my next video I believe the next one I will do a video on um, maybe I'll do some towels yeah I think I'll throw a couple throw maybe three towels in and see how that does but um, I'll be back once these get done so I can throw them in the spinner and let you see how that works Oh, and just FYI, that is not dirt. My jeans are not that dirty. That is the blue dye coming off the jeans. If you look real closely, you can see that that's the blue dye and not me just having filthy jeans. So, okay, I'll be back when this rota this uh, cycle finishes in about five minutes. Okay, I'm back. This, the jeans are finished. And what you do next is unhook this drain hose right there. I'm just going to put it right there. It'll drain regardless. And then turn your um, drain to standard. I mean, turn your, turn your drain from standard to drain. And there it comes out. What I'm going to do, this is a, since this is my first time trying it with this machine, I'm going to, and there it goes down the drain. You see the cord is up here, so there's no risk of um, any type of electric or anything what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something and lift this up off of the um, bottom of the tub <clears throat> excuse me so the water won't even be hitting the bottom of the machine at all because I don't know if that'll damage it or not but after today it shouldn't because the whole thing is plastic but after today it will not be set up like that another thing I forgot I have these I still have some of these if you saw some of my other videos these you throw in the in the tub with the clothes to catch the lint they work really good I got them on I think I got these on Amazon and they were just a few dollars so yeah the water is draining out and then what I will do once that's drained out I will grab my handheld, fill that back up, and let that um, rinse, which is basically just putting it through another wash cycle with no detergent. Just rinsing it, and then I will um, be back. Okay, two important things. People may think they're stupid, but they're actually not. Don't forget, once you are finished draining, don't forget to hook your hose back up. And don't forget to turn your drain off. Turn it back to standard. And then go ahead and fill your washer again. Hey, I'll be back once this is um, <clears throat> done filling so I can show you my okay, rinse. I'm back and I have filled um, the machine again. And this time I filled it more up. I'll take that back. I filled it up higher than the fill mark just to see if it affects the way it rinses since it has three pairs of jeans in here and I also wanted to see if it affects my little patchwork right there that I did on the crack that was in the front of my machine all right let's see if it's how it's gonna work here For the purpose of the video, I didn't put it on 15. I only turned it to 9 just so I can, just for the video, put it that way. If I had been doing, actually washing them just to be, you know, taking my time and watch them not doing a the video, I would have 
put it on 15 just to make sure they got rinsed properly. But as you can see, it's rotating. It's not rotating a whole bunch like it, um, like people prefer for it to, or like some people say like it's supposed to. But it is rotating and the water is moving. So, like I said before, on 15 minutes, I'm sure it would um, rotate enough to get these rinsed thoroughly. So, I'll be back once these rinse all the way to show you how I do the spinner. And you know, this is just a little video to show more of the rotation and how the jeans are, are um, working in here. Once I, once you think about it, you really know how, don't know how much your clothes rotate and how much they agitate in your regular washer either. Because guess what? You put the clothes in, you fill it up, you put the detergent in, you set it and close the top, close the lid. You. I don't know anybody that goes back and in, or you know what, when you raise the lid, your washer automatically stops anyway. So you don't know how your clothes are actually rotating in your regular washer anyway. They could be doing this, or they could be rotating like you think they should. Don't know. Okay, that's done. These are done uh, rinsing. You can see it's draining. And now let's start the spin cycle. Don't forget to take your cover, spin cover out. You can do this while it's draining, basically. Because you're just taking whatever's in the washer and putting it in the spinner. One pair, I think it might be able to fit two pair in there. Let's see here. I always put the legs in first because they're the smallest. Yeah, we can fit two pair in there. I'm not even going to try to force three pair in there. But there's two pair. Ouch. Make sure you put your lid in there. Make sure my quarters back up here. There we go. Make sure this lid is closed because that's a safety feature. If it's up, it won't spin anyway. And when you, um, if you have any reason to open it, it automatically stops when this safety lid comes up. Okay. So now we set the spin timer. And there it goes. You see it's not very, whoa, it's not very loud. It's spinning. It's just moving because I have it in the tub. Actually, hold on a sec. I made a change. Um, what I did is I put down my mat, tub mat, just to see if it'll help with that vibrating and um, movement that was under, that it was doing. So, and I'm not going to edit, edit these videos. You're just going to see my mistakes. You're going to see what worked, what didn't work. So let's see. Here we go. There we go. That's a lot better. It's got a little sound. I think that's just because there's nothing, there's no weight on the other side. Normally I'm washing. I have this loaded up and washing while that's um, going to. And it um, kind of balances it, balances it, it out. So, and here's the safety feature I was telling you about. It stops. 
if you raise it. And there's the water that is spinning out, coming out right there. So yeah, that's how it spins, drains your water out. And believe it or not, this spinner works really well. Your clothes will be almost dry. They'll be just be damp by the time this is finished spinning. So I'll be back when I'm finished with these two pair of jeans. These two pair of jeans are finished and you have to kind of wiggle that out. I think it's designed that way so it'll stay in there. But yeah, these two pair of jeans are finished. And you can see that they are, they're not wet wet because you can tell they're not real heavy. Or, you may not be able to tell, but they don't look real dark. Like, like, um, hold on just a second. Let me show you this other pair. Like that pair. It looks real dark because it's full of water. But this pair here, it doesn't because most of the water is out of it now. Okay, and here's the second pair that comes out. And you know, if you don't have a dryer, what we used to do, because I started this when I didn't have a washer or dryer in my unit, I just had the, um, you, the two, I think it was a washer and a dryer that was downstairs in our building or something. But, um, and we didn't want to use it, of course. It was the middle of COVID, COVID and I didn't want to use it anyway. But um, if you don't have a washer and dryer, all you have to do is um, just hang them up hang them up up overnight and they'll be dry see how dark these are because in they're heavy because they're full of water but yeah this spinner does really good and apparently my jeans were very very dark because it stained the inside of the dry washer but it's okay I don't need for that to be all nice and pretty for anything so like I said I'm gonna put this in here and I kind of smash it down Close it, close it, turn it back on and start those. And those will be done in a few minutes too. And there's my drain. See the water coming out? But like I said, I'm not going to keep this set up here. I don't really care for it. So this is just to test the machine out and do my first wash video. So I'll be back once these get finished. Okay. Spinning. This third pair of jeans is, whoops, is done and here they are a lot lighter with a lot less water in them and i'll be throwing those in the dryer in a minute so there we go that's the owen don't forget to put your um setting on drain when you spin because if not your water will be just sitting in your machine but anyway that's how i use my Zenny portable washing machine with spinner. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, please comment. Um, like I said, I'll be posting videos, probably two videos a week. And if you have any su suggestions on what you want me to try in here, just let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.